With only days to go before the opening ceremony of the 2012 Olympic Games, the security firm G4S has been replaced by local security companies to police the soccer venue in Newcastle at St. James's Park. Well, Alicia Sperry is here to update us. Alicia, um, okay, first of all, there's been some news this morning, though, before we get to the Newcastle story, that uh, 1,200 troops that's are right. now being deployed. Now, they were on standby, but the government has decided they need them. That's right. The government just announced today that 1,200 additional troops will be deployed to secure the games. Sure. That's in addition to the 3,500 they deployed um, two weeks ago after the, the problems with G4S surfaced. And that will bring a total military deployment to the Olympics to um, over 18,000 troops. I mean, because um, initially there were like 17,000. That's right. Yeah, yeah, I mean, so, so it's already, I mean, okay, fine. But as far as the security firms, it was, it was I mean, G4S was put in place to essentially complement, obviously, the amount of troops there. Um, um, but they've not been able to supply the enough security for the Olympics. And exactly. the armed forces have been forced to step in. Yeah, I mean, G4S had a contract for 284 million pounds with the organizing committee for the Olympics. They were supposed to provide 10,400 guards for the games. and. Um, just about two weeks ago, they announced they wouldn't be able to meet that requirement, and they only had about 4,000 troops at that point. What was the problem there? There were a number of problems. They, they mentioned um, issues with um, vetting and accrediting all the security stuff, and then also training. And in fact, when, um, when they first announced the problems, a lot of um, former staffers sort of complained about organizations at the firm. They described a fairly chaotic situation where you know there were missing uniforms, there were cancelled training sessions, people being sent somebody else's schedule, all kinds of. Uh, so now, in, and so now in the latest development, they have been basically you know they're not going to actually be able to cover the security for the soccer venues in Newcastle. I mean, about how many guards are we talking about there? There are about 500 guards that will now be provided entirely by local security firms. Um, the Newcastle City Council announced yesterday they're, they're quite happy about this, in fact, because this will bring in some extra cash to the local economy. The guards that will be, gu that will be uh, securing the Olympic Stadium there are already familiar with that venue, which they secured during other events. And um, so overall, they're quite positive about this, although this, of course, is just the latest in a uh, series of embarrassments for G4S. Uh, it's bad news for G4S, but at the same time, good news for Newcastle, because I assume the money that would have gone to G4S for all this now actually goes to local security firms. That's right, and uh, they're quite happy about it. In fact, um, this is also, and just to remind, um, you know, G4S has announced they will be losing 35 to 50 million pounds under contract, and um, that's just the latest. And just goes to show, I guess they weren't prepared well in advance. Alicia, thank you very much for joining us.